G'day, Mepo 5 here. I've got the, oh, there you go, Roggy D. Mepo 5 here, how you going? Got a cracker of a uh, meal for you today. It's dedicated to the Red Apple Audio Workshops. And if um, you keep an eye out for Scully during the video, he's got their T-shirt on. So, Roggy D, we're doing a seafood dish, Chipano. So, stick around. I've got to get the hot rocks on and get things happening. Roggy. <laughs> Stage. <laughs> Big Memo 5. <laughs> Thanks, Scully. Hey, oh, I didn't pay him at all to do that. No, no, but hey, as we say at this front there, we are doing Chipano right here today. So uh, it's dedicated to Red Apple Audio Workshop. So big shout out to uh, Eve and Jimmy Vegas Tanner. <laughs> Drummer on Apologetics, so which you guys produce, you do a great job too. So, yep, let's get into it, eh? Chipano. We won't need to uh, roast this or any way, so I'm just using a Dutch oven. So the Dutch oven's got the round lid. So yeah, we'll get this heat. Uh, we'll get this. So that's on there now. Now we're going to get the uh, oil and the butter. Okay, so you want two equal parts of both. Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using um, extra virgin olive oil from Aldi Shopping Centre. And then the butter. I'm using unsalted butter. Okay, butter and oil are in. Yeah, so I've got the old man over here, so uh, we'll see how it goes. If you see him pop his head into the frame, he knows where the frame is, but you might not see him or even hear from him, but he's here, I'll, I'll, I'll assure you that. So just get the butter and the uh, oil mixed in. It's on like uh, medium, medium high heat. Medium high heat, and when the butter stops frothing, you add in. So I'm going to have all the ingredients list in the comments below, but this is where you chuck in your um, your onion, your carrot. I've got one small um, capsicum in there. I've got half a fennel bulb. I've got two small green um, chilies. Uh, and I've got some uh, some celery and the leaves, so yeah, it's all there. So um, yeah, prior preparation prevents poor performance. So boom, that's all done, and that's in there. So we'll stir that up. We'll give that a bit of a cook for about five or six minutes, and we'll get back to you soon. And we'll add the garlic for another minute. Roger. You want me to come down there and stir it, Mepo? No, mate. You're all right. You just sit up there. Tell us a little bit about um, Red Apple Audio Workshops, eh? Yeah, right on, Mepo, no worries. They're a recording studio and they're stationed in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so we're in Australia, but they're in Pittsburgh, but the internet, YouTube, Facebook, death to distance, so we're buddies and they're one of our sponsors, so we really appreciate it and um, yeah, check out, I'm going to put the link to their website in the description below. And yeah, they just record music and um, all that sort of stuff. So check them out. Check them out below. All right, let's go and see what this looks like straight up. What does it look like, Mepo? Oh, Scully, you should see it. It's like it's like, it's fair dinkum. It, it's colourful. Um, it smells. I'm just going to cook that on low, all right, for the five or six minutes. So it's already starting to brown up now, which is great. And it's the best thing about cast iron. Boom for that sear. Yeah, just give us a zoom in, camera one. Camera one, wake up, mate. Roger. Yeah. yeah, Red Apple Audio Workshops, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Big shout out, fellas. This 10 meals dedicated to you, eh? The old Chipano. Roger. Really good. So now I'm going to add the uh, uh, cloves of garlic in there. And then give that a bit of a stir. And then leave that leave that simmering in there because the garlic will sort of soften up and become a pasty type ingredient. So I'll give that a stir in. They're all looking really good.
Yeah, she's looking real good. Alrighty, so at that time we're going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste. So I'm just going to sort of tip it in because I don't want to get the... Alright, and then you just stir the tomato paste in with all the vegetables. Make sure they all get a good coating on them. Hear the sizzle of that cast. Yeah, so basically just stir that around until you're happy with the, um, the coat, the consistency and, and everything. It should get like tinges of black on it and it should start to go dark, the um, tomato paste. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Then I've got to add a cup of white wine. I'm using the old Chardonnay. So um, one cup for the pot. So yeah, Roger, I understand. So yeah, get the wine in. That's going to apparently bring that back up to the boil and you keep keep an eye on it for a few minutes um, until the um, it's evaporated. So I'm just going to leave that in. I've turned it up to about medium. So I'm going to get these hot rocks on because we're going to do a damper with it too. Now traditionally, um, traditionally the meal is served with a sourdough bread. Now um, it was brought over by the Italians when they migrated to um, to San Francisco back in the sort of late late 1800s but the earliest recording of the Chipano meal prepared was um, first written down it was a written down thing so 1930 is the first recorded Chipano recipe written down so yeah and that was brought over by the uh, by the Italians when they come over to San Francisco when they migrated so thanks very much for your dish so the reason being legend has it that the word Chipano means chip in chip in so Anyone that come back from their fishing trawler and didn't didn't get a good catch, they used to walk around with a big bowl saying, chip in, chip in. All right, it's starting to get that thick consistency to it, so most of the um, alcohol is evaporated, but it smells divine. Yeah, I can smell it from here, but mate, you're doing a great job, buddy. She's looking well. So now we're at the next stage of the um, recipe. So, full can of tomatoes. Cup of water, one bay leaf, half a teaspoon of mixed herbs, and two pinches of cayenne pepper. So I haven't got a pinch, I'm going to do two shakes. Two shakes, there you go, two shakes, a bit of lamb. So we'll get that in there, we'll give it a bit of a stir. Alright, check that out. Looking good, looking good. Now bring that back to a bit of a, you know, a light simmer, and then you want that simmer in. So I'm going to turn that down to low. Alrighty, that's looking good. The hot rocks are on, and we'll get this damper on. Yeah, righto. All right, go and have a bit of a break if you want. Go to the toilet, make a cup of cracker beer, whatever you want to do. Roger. Just remember, one of the recipes I um, I saw on Chipano, and like um, one of them had a couple of slices of lemon. So I'm going to put that in because. It all makes sense. Whenever you have fish, you have lemon. Two slices of lemon. I've just de-seeded them, so you know, pop them into. I even just give it a bit of a stir while I'm here. The uh, recipe for the uh, damper I'm using is um, Mrs. Mebo Five's recipe. So this damper going now. I already know that that's four cups because prior preparation prevents poor performance. So, boom. So I'll put that in. Alrighty, a teaspoon of um, baking powder. So it's four. Pinch of salt. This to go into a hot oven. Now what I do? So yeah, that's all stirred in. Now all we need is water, and then you just mix that till it just sort of just combines. You don't want to need it. A tiny bit of herbs. Chuck them in too. Mix it like a paste. You don't want to over mix it. You just want to keep adding water to it until it becomes like a sticky sort of bowl. It doesn't matter if there's dry bits or wet bits in there. That's there, so that's not too bad. See how it's like all, all pasty? Alright, I'm actually happy with that, so let's get it over to the oven. That's all going in like that, it looks like a big brain. So we'll put that in there. So put that on there. And then we'll put the remaining rocks on here, should be RT. The damper's in, Chipano's going away, so we'll let the damper go. Get the, uh, we'll get the seafood put in, so. Alright, see you soon. 
Alrighty, so we're at the stage now. We're going to bring this um, Chipano soup base up to simmer, which it already is. So yeah, we've got some mussels here. We're going to put the mussels in. She's at the simmer, so I'll get them all in. I rinsed them all. I'm just tipping all the excess water out. These are already cooked mussels, so saves time. Now, what do you want to do? You want to put the, um, the mussels in for about um, for about five minutes. Predominantly, you put them in until the shell's open. These are already open, so I'm going to go about you know three to five minutes. Just wait till it comes back up to the simmer, which means the heat's in there. Then I'm going to add the fish. Okay, that's back up to the simmer now, so I'm going to bring the fish over. And the fish I'm using, as you saw in the ingredients, is snapper. So I've just cut them into two inch blocks. So I'm going to snap the snapper in. Like I said, mate, don't try to be funny, mate. Oh, uh, look, mate, we can both have our fair share. So just poke that fish in and um, let that go for about five or ten minutes. It won't take too long. Just get it inside the simmering pot, give it a stir. Okay, let off another few minutes there for the fish. So just put the fish in. We'll come back, we'll put the prawns in there. When I put the prawns in, they're raw prawns. I'll give you the raw prawn. They're raw prawns in there. And then what we'll do then is um, I'll sear in the skillet. I'll flick, scare, uh, flick sear the uh, seafood marinara mix and we should be good to go very shortly. So, see you soon. All right, we'll just give you a quick shot of the um, chipano, what it's looking like. Doesn't that look awesome? And um, let's put the prawns in. So put the prawns in, there you go, prawns are in, give them a stir, poke them in, mainly poke them in. Couple of good prawns there, 170 grams of prawns, like I said this is a, a meal for two. So I just want to get them prawns inside, that is looking awesome. All right, prawns are in, so give them about 5-10 minutes, we'll get that skillet out, marinara mix, and we'll get the skillet out. Yeah, so we'll give this a bit of a sear. I'll keep it in the heat, just keep turning it around, and then that'll go in last there until things just start to colour the fish. I'm just spinning these in the old uh, char grill here, the old six inch. Lid off and pour that in. That's the seat, that's the marinara mix. And then the final ingredient is an equal part of fennel prong, or frong, fennel frong, um, celery leaf, the inner part of the celery leaf, the, the leafy part, and Italian parsley, equal parts, just, I don't know, about that round. So I'll chuck that in, give that a little quick stir. Oh, beautiful. Let's have a bit of a look at that. Actually, that might be coriander I bought. <laughs> not, not Italian parsley, because that tastes like coriander, but anyway. What's it look like, my boo? Oh, mate, Scully, you should see it. It looks absolutely divine. Alrighty, so there you go. Thanks very much to my sponsor, Red Apple Audio Workshops in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks very much for the suggestion, Eve and Jimmy Tanner. Jimmy Vegas Tanner. Yeah, no worries, alright, we'll get this served up, eh? Hey Mippo, the damper! Alright, here we are on the damper side of things. Where's my lid lifter? Yeah, damper's looking good. That looks good, that damper. Um... Yeah, that's good. Springy in the middle. I'll just, I'll just take a little bit off. Very crusty on top. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and um, let your mates know. Roggy, Roggy D. Take a knee. <laughs> All righty, so there you go. Chipano and a bit of good old-fashioned Aussie damper. So, like I said, Chipano is traditionally served with a sourdough, but I'm an Aussie and I've got the herb damper. So, bon appetit and um, catch you next Wednesday, eh? Thank you. Thanks for watching.